Marcus Harvey here in front of the wood pile, 69 steps in front of the St. John River because it still is a little chilly outside, so we'll do it inside today. Welcome to episode 5 of Yatter, and before we get going, you know what time it is. It's whiskey time! <laughs> How'd we get that? Folks, once again, whiskey time, let's get into it. Today's going to be a little bit different of an episode. Because the whole episode's gonna be on whiskey. Well, we'll do a little bit of an update as well too, I guess. Uh, today we're gonna to be drinking a Buffalo Trace bourbon whiskey. Of course, the official spirit of the United States of America. America! Woo-hoo! <laughs> yeah! And, uh, but we're gonna have a little twist to it. We're not gonna just drink the whiskey. We're gonna make a mixed drink today. But before I get into that, which is gonna be our whole episode, let's give you a few updates. Uh, episode one, we were talking about my weight and the bargeness of my arse. Uh, so for the last uh, two months, I've been doing the intermittent fasting. So that's working out fairly well. In the two months, I've lost 17 pounds. Now, I went in for some blood work today. Intermittent fasting is good for losing weight, but not so good for the blood work, because I went into a specialty clinic today to pay to get my blood work done so it would be done quicker. And I get in there sitting in my lazy boy, my arms out, ready to go. Now, for me, when I give blood, for a guy that has this many tattoos, you wouldn't think I'd mind needles, but I mind needles. So, left arm is where to go for me. Right arm, I don't have good luck with. Anyway, the girl that tried today, uh, she went into my left arm, couldn't find it. She looked over my right arm, she said, oh, I see a vein right there. I said, mm, I wouldn't go there. But anyway, she said, no, I see a good vein. So I said, okay, give it a try. So away we go, she stuck the needle in, after already sticking a needle in this arm. She stuck the needle in this arm and she couldn't find a vein and she's twisting it around and I'm looking at her and I said, yeah, you're losing me. And then the next thing I know, I'm in the middle of uh, Grimes new video for uh, delete, delete final or final delete, whatever that is. And then a whole bunch of images flashed in front of my eyes and I woke up and looked down and was wondering who was wearing my pants. So it wasn't a good day for the blood giving. We finally did get some out. Another girl came in and got it out, but I was in the chair for an hour before I could walk. Uh, after I was able to walk, I made it to a friend's house in my car, almost passed out driving there. Uh, had to pile under some blankets and sleep for an hour there, and it took me quite a while to get back to my normal, effervescent, beautiful self. But here I am, and we are able going to be, be able to drink some whiskey today. So, back at it. That's your update on intermittent fasting. Good for losing weight, bad for giving blood. Buffalo Trace. We're gonna get into this today, but boys, we're gonna have some fun. Hold tight a second. I'm gonna fire up another camera so that you can see me mixing this fancy, this fancy drink. Okay, hopefully this works. Hopefully that, hopefully that camera stays going. All right, Buffalo Trace, once again, an opening. It's not an unboxing, because Buffalo Trace in this part of the world doesn't come in a box, but pay attention. We'll open this delicious bourbon. This is a fairly inexpensive bourbon. Uh, about $40 here uh, in the greater Fredericton area. Uh, some people would call it a, if it's a cheaper bourbon, a lot of people, I think, make the mistake of saying, oh, it's, it's good for a mixer. This one for me, I've drank a lot of them straight. No problem at all. It's a nice sipper as well. It's not top of the line. Uh, but today we're gonna use it as a mixer. If I can get the damn thing open, there we go. That was fancy. And today I'm going to show you how to make an old fashioned. In case you're wondering, it's taking me this long to tell you what's going on. An old fashioned uh, is, as the name states, old fashioned. It's been around for a couple hundred years. Um, I'm going to make you a fancy one today. I'm going to make a smoky old fashioned. And for that, we need a few things. Uh, I've got an old Aberfeldy Scotch bottle. Uh, we're going to need a glass, of course. We're going to need a blowtorch. Running out of room here on the old table. Uh, we're going to need an orange. 
Some people in their old fashioned, most people in their old fashioned use like a, uh, what's it called, a demure sugar, like an unbleached sugar. Uh, today I'm gonna use some uh, Wabanaki uh, maple syrup uh, aged in oak barrels. Uh, this Wabanaki maple syrup comes from the Tobik First Nations up north here in New Brunswick. Uh, and let me tell you, you can see by this bottle, I've already gone through a bit of it. It is fantastic product. A little pricey, I think uh, $60 for three bottles this size, but in a drink, oh baby. Uh, what else do we need? I've got some Angostura, Angostura bitters and some uh, Dillian's orange bitters. Hopefully this camera's catching everything. If not, you'll see it this way, I hope. So, uh, an old fashioned is made out of bourbon or it can be made out of rye. It can be made out of any whiskey, really. Uh, but preferably, for me, out of uh, bourbon or rye. Uh, I do have some rye in the house, but today I opted just to go with the bourbon. So it's a fairly simple drink. Now, the classic version of an old fashioned is you put a, like a little cloth over the top here. You put one cube of uh, sugar then you do bitters, 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 put it in, mull it around till it's all mushed, uh, then put in some, uh, put in your bourbon, a couple of ounces of bourbon, ice cubes, stir it around, drink it. But we're gonna be a little fancier today. Oh, I forgot some more ingredients. Uh, I've got this fancy uh, uh, fire holding uh, wood device. Now for those of you at home, it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't need to get your, go out to a, a, a specialty store and get yourself a fancy uh, bar spoon like I have here. Uh, anything out of the kitchen will work that you can stir with. Same with your orange peeler. You don't need to get a fancy orange peeler like I have here. Um, anything will work as long as you can get the orange peel off. So let's get to it. First thing we want to do is get our smoke going. Hold on. We need some ice and a funnel. Uh, this one here I use for some oil but I think it'll be all right for uh, what we need to do. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some smoke going. Oh, probably helps if you turn it on. Don't try this at home, kids. Well, unless you're older and brighter than I am. Now I'm using uh, red oak here. Turn that off, get that out of the road. Oh, there's still a little whiskey left in there, I guess. Sorry, can you see me all right? So we just get a little, uh, we just get a little uh, red oak smoke going into the old scotch bottle. That should be enough. Let's not throw this at a gas can. We'll cork it. Perfect. See our smoke in there? Outstanding. Now let's get a little orange going. Like I said, you don't need to go to a specialty store and get yourself a fancy orange peeler like I've got. Um, you can just, you know, use something out of the kitchen that works for you. So we need a little strip of orange rind. And we want to take, uh, we want to take the pith off it. And the pith would be this white stuff here. Trim her off. I'm telling you, this is delicious. You're, you're gonna love it. That's good for now. Let's see what we can attract with that. Okay, so usually, like I said, we put sugar in here with some bitters and some bitters, but today we're gonna use about half an ounce, not even of this lovely uh, maple syrup from the Tobik First Nation here in New Brunswick. We'll put, you can see I'm a real measurement type of guy. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Put that there. Then we're gonna go with our bitters. Now, uh, there's usually some people put cherries in old fashions. That's kind of a new old fashioned. An old old fashioned is uh, orange and lime, or uh, lemon. Ryan, I just use orange myself. And to give it a little bit more orange flavor, I also use these bitters. You can get them online, Dillian's, um, or Dillon's, orange bitters. We're gonna do one, two of those, two little dashes of those. And we're gonna do a dash and a bit of Angostura bitters. 
A lot of you would know this one. This one you can get uh, readily in the grocery store. And this label's kind of, uh, it's not as white as it usually is, but this is the, uh, this is the one that's probably familiar to a lot of you. The bottle is smaller than the label on the outside. And there's an interesting story in that one. I'll give it to you real quick. Uh, two brothers were entering into a, a bitters competition years and years and years ago. I think they've been around for like 100 years. Anyway, one brother was in charge of making the bottles. One brother was in charge of making the labels. They didn't talk to each other. And this is what happened. They got to the competition. It was too late for them to take the label, to get the labels redone. So they went with what they had. They lost the competition. But one of the judges told him, you know what, that's pretty unique marketing that you've got labels that are too big for the bottles, thinking they did it on purpose. And uh, it's been that way ever since. Angostura bitters. So once we get that in there, let's get some ice. I don't know if I've got wood or bugs in my ice bucket. Too big and like, you know, it's easy to find nice frozen balls like this when it's cold in the winter in New Brunswick. They just actually came out of my pants. I'm gonna stir these up a little bit. Stir the maple syrup in with the bitters. Excellent. Outstanding. Okay, now let's add some bourbon. You wanna add at least two ounces. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's two ounces. That's an accurate pour right there. And we want to give that another stir again. Now this is a straight spirit drink. So you can use expensive bourbon in this drink as well if you want because it's, you're going to appreciate it. Okay, so that's mixed up. Hopefully the oil doesn't mix with the bourbon. We're gonna dump that in there. Fantastic. Keep the smoke in there while we can. We'll put our ice right there. Swirl that around a little bit inside the body. You can still see the smoke inside there. Looking good. Fantastic. Let's grab a, just for fun. I've seen some people do this one too. Yep. There's a uh, nice peep of a piece of local, locally sourced maple. I'm just gonna light up a little maple here. That's ah, looking good. top a little bit of seat you can just see it in there a little bit of maple smoke going into the uh, glass just add a little extra flavor good throw that in the fireplace later everybody will be happy get our ice back in our old-fashioned see just see the smoke just a little bit of the smoke coming in you don't need me need much for the flavor that's looking great mm -mm -mm. Put that over there now what you want to do with your orange you just want to when you squeeze it you know sometimes that little spray comes out the you just want to there we go and I just saw it hit the drink there hopefully you caught that with the camera as well a little outside a little inside with the orange a little twist into the drink. You can tell I had dirty fingers and wood on my hands and stuff. We'll drink from the clean side. Always drink from the clean side. Let's take a smell of it first before because I haven't given you the nose on it yet. And that one with the orange bitters and the orange in it. I have some friends that were just down at Walt Disney World and Disneyland out in California to the new Star Wars exhibit. So if you were to imagine Mickey Mouse were to take a lightsaber in the nuts, this doesn't smell like that at all. This smells quite lovely. Let's have a drink. Oh, and the smoke in that, you didn't see much when it was going into the glass, but it's definitely there. Outstanding. So that's a, uh, 
God's Country Majorable version of a smoked old fashioned. Try it out at home. Let me know how you made out. If you have any other topics or anything you'd like to uh, see me do, please leave some comments below. I would also um, ask you to subscribe. That way you can get a little bit more of this. And once again, if you don't like this, don't subscribe. It's that easy. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Thanks for stopping by, kids. We'll see you next week or in a couple of weeks with some more whiskey and some more fun.